I was looking for the more of the mouth feel. I remember before I was talking about doing like a double hard ski wise because I wanted more. But I don't want to stray too far away from the original because the original was fantastic. So good. Like I said, so the two pounds. Eh. Doesn't matter if I pour too much, right? As long as you got enough. Mm -hmm. Mesh, mesh, mesh. All day long. Mesh, mesh, mesh. When I sing this song. I didn't measure this song. I'm just figuring it's so You know, at the end of the day, it's all going to be five gallons, so. So why are we doing the uh, the late edition here? Why are we doing the late edition of the uh, Well, it was like, extract why here? bother putting it in earlier when it doesn't fucking matter because right? I'm only putting an ounce of hops in. So really, I only needed the grain that I had mashed. All right, so you got these things called alpha acids in the hops, right? They need to be able to take and combine with sugars so that they can be processed by the yeast, right? Based upon how many, how much of said alpha acids you're putting into your warp determines how much of the sugars you need for appropriate hop utilization. So, the grains that he has from his mash tun hey. are ample amount of sugars to process the one ounce of, oil. of hops that he's got in the warp. Okay? So mm -hmm. you can put this later, this malt extract in whenever, because it will have no impact at all on hop utilization. Think of this bucket as a womb. You know, to be completely honest, it's probably going to spend the most amount of time in there than it's going to spend in any vessel in its entire life. That's true, as soon as it's bottled. It's going to be consumed, yeah. Immediately. Yeah. 